After powered flight was achieved in 1903, and the implementation of jet propulsion arrived in the 1940s, electric vertical takeoff and landing technology, or EVTOL, is opening the way for a third major transformation that could change the aviation industry for decades to come. The U.S. Air Force knows how crucial it is to spearhead the evolution of aviation technology and keep innovating to deter hostile forces and protect its global assets. As such, it is empowering their innovation arm, the AFWORKS, to propel a groundbreaking project that will accelerate the technology. The initiative, codenamed Agility Prime, was launched in 2020 and has assembled many of the most promising aviation manufacturers in the United States to develop EVTOL technology, systems, and aircraft. The program is taking advantage of the significant advances in electric propulsion and the growing need for new vehicles for urban air mobility to kickstart a new industry electric aircraft capable of taking off and landing vertically under any condition. Still, the ambitious project has numerous obstacles and fierce competition to overcome, but if all goes according to plan, the technology could also jumpstart civilian applications such as urban air taxis and aerial delivery systems, paving the way for a new revolution in aerospace mobility. EVTOL technology. The abrupt and relentless progress that remote controlled camera drones have shown in the last decades has attested to the reliability and efficiency of electric vertical takeoff and landing systems. And the world has been eagerly waiting for such technology to reach the point of transporting human beings. In 2009, the objective looked closer when NASA published a YouTube video titled NASA Puffin Low Noise Electric VTOL Personal Air Vehicle showcasing a fascinating personal electric aircraft capable of taking off and landing vertically. The relatively small device was only fit to carry a single person. In the animated demonstration, the pilot took off on a standing position, and once the aircraft reached cruising altitude, he assumed a horizontal position like a caped superhero. The concept seemed straightforward enough, however it captured people's imaginations around the globe, and the video soon went viral. Before that date, not much effort had been put into the concept of VTOL personal aircraft, as the electric propulsion systems necessary to make them a reality were still in their early stages of development. However, by the time the video exploded on the internet, advances in electric propelling systems had come a long way, so much so that after the footage became popular, major aviation corporations expressed their interest in developing VTOL technology. Not only did major aeronautics manufacturers begin to invest in the technology, but by 2011, new organizations had been formed with the sole purpose of developing it. Uber, the iconic mobility service provider, became interested and published a research paper a few years later outlining a project called Elevate, which assessed the viability of an on-demand aviation transportation system based on electric vertical takeoff and landing technology. Another private company pioneering the EVTOL industry is Tetra Aviation, whose unique design won the Disruptor Award at the 2020 GoFly Personal Flight Contest for its single-seat EVTOL. Then, in 2021, the company announced its Mark V Personal EVTOL and anticipates delivering it by 2022. Their vehicle features 32 vertical lift rotors spread across the long, thin front and rear wings, along with a rear pusher prop for cruising. If successful, the Mark V will provide a commercially available aircraft as easy to operate as a modern camera drone. Many other private EVTOL projects are being developed around the world, but the most ambitious by far is Agility Prime. Not only does it have the technological and financial support of the U.S. Air Force, but it also has recruited numerous key aviation manufacturers, such as Joby Aviation, Beta Technologies, Lyft Aircraft, and Kitty Hawk. Agility Prime AFWORKS' mission is to identify and accelerate innovation in aerospace mobility through the creation of collaborative programs between innovators and entrepreneurs in the network operations of the U.S. Air Force. Thus, their interest in potentializing EVTOL technologies couldn't be more significant. When addressing the implications of the Agility Prime program, AFWORKS Director Cole Nathan Diller said, quote, The ability to move through the air has made phenomenal things for the security of our nation. If we can find new ways of doing that, it literally lifts us up as a force. It's an opportunity to democratize air travel for our airmen and for our nation. 
In simple terms, Agility Prime is an initiative that puts Air Force technology, equipment, experience, and resources in the hands of a select group of private aviation innovators and manufacturers to accelerate the development of the EVTOL aircraft of the future. It also intends to integrate three key technology areas, including electric, autonomy, and manufacturing, by using electric or hybrid electric propulsion systems, increasing simplified vehicle operations, and using advanced processes and materials. But its extent goes beyond that. The ambitious program also incorporates collaboration with the U.S. Army for developing transformative vertical lift capabilities. This means that private developers working on EVTOL vehicles not only get the experience and support of the Air Force, but they also get to work with the Army and receive their input. Major John Teckel, Agility Prime's lead, explained, quote, The Agility Prime efforts reduce the risk for technology, regulatory, and financial aspects of the EVTOL industry, increasing the pace of development and paving the way for early operations of EVTOL aircraft for both military and commercial applications. AFWORKS' commitment to the technology that could become a watershed in aviation history is absolute. Proof of this can be seen in the construction of the new Advanced Urban Air Mobility Technology Simulator Facility at the Springfield Beckley Municipal Airport near Wright-Patterson Air Force Base and the Air Force Research Laboratory in Dayton, Ohio. The state-of-the-art Springfield facility is fitted with every possible testing accommodation needed to develop safe and reliable EVTOL applications. Currently, Beta Technologies, Joby Aviation, and Lyft Aircraft make use of the compound to test their prototypes and run simulations. The advantage of having a location specially built to simulate urban mobilization scenarios allows the developing companies to stay ahead of the competition. At the same time, the Air Force makes sure that the United States becomes the spearhead of the technology set to change the world of aviation. The Road Ahead even when the AFWORKS Agility Prime Initiative has possibly accelerated the development of EVTOL technologies by a factor of several years, the roadmap still shows many obstacles that must be overcome. Many of the applications of remote-controlled camera drones, such as autonomous drone delivery services, were infamously halted in the United States by regulations and risk concerns. Self-driving cars also presented significant barriers, like the ones encountered by drones. Suppose AFWORKS wishes to help jumpstart a massive EVTOL taxi industry in the U.S. In that case, it must skillfully manage the developing implications and the manufacturing costs, materials, and political implications that the new technology will entail. Unless significant efforts are made to unite raw material processing companies, manufacturers, developers, lawmakers, and entrepreneurs into creating a whole new industry, the U.S. could lose its competitive advantage. It is up to programs such as Agility Prime to make sure the next revolution in aviation technology stays within reach of the United States and its allies around the world. Thank you for watching our video. What are you looking forward to the most regarding EVTOL technology? Please let us know in the comment section below. And to find more amazing history-inspired stories, don't forget to subscribe to all of our Dark Documentaries channels and hit the notification bell to be notified of our newest content. Stay tuned.